So I was um, singing on the Bema and I, every service I look around the congregation just to see who's there. And I noticed this uh, good looking young man was sitting in the congregation who I'd never seen before. And so I asked a close friend of mine who it was and she introduced me to him. We've done all these life steps through Temple Sinai that most people don't. Um, we had his adult bar mitzvah. We got married and we, um, I mean, we had a baby all through Temple Sinai and um, most people don't have that. And it just, it makes it even more special. Hi. What can I think that both of us love that Isaac loves synagogue. Like that's his, he knows that on Friday nights, mommy might be going to go sing or he might have top Shabbat or he might have um, Sunday school or whatever. But he doesn't argue with us about it because he loves being there too. And he loves learning and he loves the singing and he loves everything about it. And he just, and he knows the people and they all say hi to him and he, this high and talks to them and that's to us is so important. It's part of who we are and it's part of the way we were raised and we're going to raise him as we want to raise him the same way. It's fun. You watch today's high school graduates, teenagers, you've watched them growing up as they were little children and now they're babysitting Isaac or, mm -hmm. you know, their, their parents are watching Isaac grow up. So it's kind of like, as Kate said, almost like extended family where you just kind of watch each other's families grow and, um, and I know Kate said it before, but they're always there for you, whether it's, you know, the, you know, rough patches in the economy, like we're going through now and if you need help or, you know, when times are good and there's celebrations, there's, there's always people at your door with a, with a hollow or a, uh, a hug, whatever you need. It's <laughs> true. Even during this time of being at home, we still have had touch shabbats. On Friday nights, we still have had Thursday night story times with Rabbi. We've still had um, Sunday school. We've still had those things that are that are so important and um, that we enjoy with us. So the Zoom or the live streams have kept everyone involved in each other. And, um, and even if everybody's talking over each other at the same time on the Zoom calls or whatever, it's still, it's fun. I mean, it's fun. It's, that's what congregations do. Everybody talks at the same time. Bye.